Hi guys, Nathan here, and this is actually going to be the first video I've ever done alone. Yeah, I'm not good at intros. Basically, I I'm bad at this. But for now, I should probably close the door and so my cat does not attack me. And I'm back. Basically, what I'm going to try to do is just because just for fun, I want to do a video of me programming. No idea if this is a good idea. It's probably a horrible idea. Probably going to accidentally hover over something and everybody's going to find out my Skype or something. Um, well, I walked out of Skype just to prevent that from happening. Should probably switch from here to something else. But this is hopefully going to be the first of a series, if this is received at all well, if it's received at all. If it's not received at all, I'll probably just keep doing it. But today, basically, what I want to do is I want to pro start programming an Enigma machine. I've tried to do this before, and I failed. It was for a school project a while ago. Uh, the language I'm going to be using is Python. And I just want to make a historically accurate Enigma machine, possibly in the end I'll even touch it up so that it will pro uh, properly follow Nazi procedure. So to start, we're going to create a repository. This is GitHub Desktop. If uh, GitHub is, if you don't know what it is for some reason, is a it's a program or a, JIT is a, Git. I always pronounce it Git JIT failing at speaking. I pronounce it JIT usually. I should be pronouncing it GIT, but I just read it in my head enough times, and now it's very difficult to get out. It's like JIF, which is, well, I pronounce, well, JIF is pronounced properly. Let the flame war commence. The flame war of my one viewer. This will be an interesting flame war. Uh, GIT is, <laughs> if I'm, if you don't know this already, I'm ADHD. I'm currently on medication, but it, you can still kind of tell. So I'm going to keep getting distracted. I'm probably going to have to pause this video 20 times while I go, I don't know, watch YouTube. Uh, so Git, have to explain what this is, is a program that is used by most programmers. No, I do not. I'm not getting bad performance at the moment. Oops. Let me fix Okay, that was either easier than expected. It was under a minute. But Git. Git is a source control program. A source control program is a way of managing code. It, what you can see here is a different thing I'm programming, which I'm not doing videos of because I am way too far in and I'm doing it completely wrong and I don't want to be yelled at. But this is a programming language I'm writing. I'm programming it wrong, but and I've all, and I've currently screwed it up. But so I can't make it work. But this is a th this is an example. These each one of these is a different generation of the code. Every time I make a few changes, every once in a while I have to go here and then I have to commit the code. You can't see the commit thing here. I, if I switch to this, which is a website, you can see uncommitted changes. Uh, I shouldn't be doing this on video. This is actually a website I'm, I w made for school about the Enigma machine. But this is how you commit such something. You put in the t the name of the, the comet commits. Not sure what you're supposed to say. I don't know what most of these words, how they're supposed to be pronounced. And then you commit it to master, and then it's added to the history, and you can revert it to stuff. You can you can see when things went wrong, and then you synchronize it with the server, and voila! Now that code is live, and anybody who downloads the repository, which is a thing of code, can see that. And I'm already five minutes in, and I haven't started. So, well, well, that was I'm going to switch over to I don't know. I'm going to create a repository. The repository is going to be under the uh, where is it? 
the Nathan Codes file, so I, I, I've i already prepared a file under my programming folder, under Python, the language I'm using, under Nathan Codes. So in there, I'm going to create a repository called en Enigma. Nathan Codes Enigma. Create repository. Okay. This repository will be found on GitHub, not GitHub, GitHub, uh, on my account, HP Pavilion 1, so if you want to look that up, I'll, I might put a link in the, the description if I can remember. I'm already halfway out of time because I'm using the unregistered Bandicam. And I'm going to publish it right now, even though there's no code. Description. I'm going, the description will be a... a Project I made for a YouTube video. Enigma MUA. Enigma machine. Oh, it won't let me. Why won't it let me? Oh, is it because this is still committing? No. Maybe I have to add code first. Okay, so next I have this, but I did not know that could happen, which is currently an un untitled Python program. And I'm going to save it. If if you know, I'm going to assume you know Python for this video, or well, I'm going to assume you're familiar with programming. Python is a scripting language. Apparently, I'm not sure. But I'm not. I don't especially know what a scripting language is. It's something to do with things you could execute one by one. So this is just, I guess, the setup video. Now that I think, now that I look at the time, so I'm going to save it under programming, Python, Nathan Codes, Nathan Codes Enigma. That file I created earlier, and it's going to be called Enigma.py. I have to add the .py extension to this for some reason. And then, so if I open this, you can see enigma.py. And now I should be able to commit the code. Well, first I have to commit it. Created enigma file. Enigma.py file. No description needed. Commit the code. And why won't it let me publish? Okay, I probably should have given a warning before pausing that. Uh, I can't figure it out. I've only been looking for a, like a minute or two, so. But I don't need to publish it because I can have it local. Maybe I have a limit on repositories. I don't think I would, but. Oh, I have to select which account it's on. There we go. Publish. Now. That that's all the setup that I really need to do for now. Uh, in the next video, I'll actually start, I guess.